All right, thank you. Please, um, I just wanted to concur with the last what the last speaker said. Honestly, some of us uh, put off a lot of things to be here today. And some of us have adjusted our calendar for this program. And so it will, it will be too uh, inimical for us to be shifting grounds this, this easily because uh, the next Saturday you're talking about, nobody knows what's gonna come up that particular time you're talking about. Something else might even take us who are present here today away. Nobody knows. The unforeseen can be, can, cannot be predicted. And so I practically concur with what the last speaker said. Please, thank God you've, you've actually uh, adjudicated on it. Let's start by 8-5, please. Because that Saturday, personally, I may not even be available if, if case not taken, because I don't have calendar for that day. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Um, nobody's hands is up again. Okay, so uh, let's just say uh, 8.05, um, we will start. Already it's been recorded. Hello, Mr. Roy. Yeah. Uh, so let's uh, go, yes, go ahead and then start in the next three minutes. Hello, Mr. Roy. Roy? Okay. Um, please, once again, everyone, so we are starting in NH. So now um, we have a about a four agenda to look at. So the first one is going to be um, about the assignments and the quiz. So now, this course has weekly quiz that has to be taken based on the modules that is in handle uh, studies for every week, because each week 
there's going to be a, um, a module that will open from Sundays, the, the following uh, Sunday. So you are expected to go through the modules for each week. This, the course is going to last for about uh, 11 to 12 weeks. So every week has a module you are going to go through. Then that uh, module has a quiz to take at the end of uh, the readings. So you are going to take the quiz and submit it. Then probably some of the weeks has an um, assignment to take. Like uh, when you look uh, with the previous ones, there is assignment for module two. There's assignment for module three. There's an assignment for module four, module five, and uh, module eight, including module nine. So though some weeks do not have uh, assignments. So, but assignment most times carries a heavy uh, points, unlike the quiz, but all of them are very much important because anywhere you miss out, it is going to affect your grade. And for you to earn a certificate with this course, you are going to make at least 70% from all the gradings. If you score 59.9, in the case of Washington, we still not offer you a certificate. We have had a such case. The last one, someone scored a 59.8. He was denied certificate. So it is very much important for us to always keep a pace with the assignment and the quiz. Now, usually, um, the second uh, uh, item here we have identification of facilitators and their roles. So usually, uh, Havron has a pool of facilitators who tries to help and assist uh, participants in every week, reminding them of what is required at every um, week. Then probably anytime we have uh, discussions, that is a meeting like this, because we are going to be having a meeting just like this one because the the course uh one of uh, the requirements is that we are supposed to be having a physical meeting at least five times before the course ends but due to the different locations of participants for this course we have adopted to make use of the uh, interactive section online like this so we are going to have a calendar that we spread the topics to be treated by every two, two weeks. So, and these topics are going to be reviewed by the participants of this course. Why a facilitator will take the lead? So now we have uh, divided this uh, class into two. We have team sources and the uh, in uh, domino, which I believe every of us will belong to either of these. So each team will have a presentation to make after every two, two weeks. So the topics to be treated will be based on the modules being studied. Just like, for instance, we have a uh, module one and module two. So at the end of module two, one of the teams will have a presentation to make. So, and that team, we have a lead, a leader who is going to anchor the presentation, who will represent others. Why, when questions are being thrown, the person that we moderate, moderate it will be the facilitator, that will now moderate questions and answers that will be coming from the two teams, because the team presenting must be present. Why the other team not present, that they also must be present, because Attendance is compulsory for this course. If you don't make up to 75 attendance, you are not going to earn a certificate. So you are expected to be in the meeting. At least if we are going to hold about uh, five meetings, you must have to attend at least four of the meetings and a certificate. So now the roles for every facilitator which we are going to identify among the participants, unlike the way we have been doing it from a uh, Havron uh, 
uh, uh, team members. So we want to give the, an opportunity to participants, especially those who have taken course with us before, to facilitate these courses. So, and uh, we, are going, we might need uh, like two persons who we volunteer to be a, the facilitators for this course. So, so that they will be reminding the participants of what is expected every week and also be reminding them of the meetings. Then at the, during the meeting, they will now uh, anchor the question and answer section. Team lead will be the one to anchor the, uh, the uh, presentation for that particular day. So now, is that right? at the end of this, okay, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, let's just do uh, a projection of um, things you are speaking so that, um, you know, when when we employ um, audiovisual strategy, it helps to understand. So let's just uh, project um, a part of our um, a part of our presentation slide, so that you can be speaking to each of them. Okay. Okay, you can. So, you have it at the end. Do you have it at your end? Okay. I think you're not. Is there space? No problem. Yes, yes for two people. Please uh, mute your mic. Oh. So go ahead. I've uh, muted them. So have you spoken to? Have you? Hello, Mr. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. So um, where are you now? Have you talked about uh, core okay. values? Let's into the business of the day. Okay, okay, okay. So that is, um, I heard you, you, you okay. is it the participants? Uh, you've talked about requirements for certificates, mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes, that is, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, what? Okay, let's, let's uh, emphasize here. Let's emphasize this. Place. So now uh, these are the weights of the grades of uh, in participants to attend before they will earn a certificate. So the written assignment, total of written assignment is 60% uh, of the total mark for this uh, course. Then we have 30% allotted to quizzes. Then we have 10% allotted to discussions. So if you are able to participate in all of this, you'll be able to gain at least 70% to earn a certificate. Then for attendance, the minimum attendance uh, uh, percentage is 75, which if you don't attend up to 75%, you are not going to earn a certificate. So next slide, please. Okay, so activities timeline, Havron uh, submission. Havron holds virtual uh, meetings via Zoom or Google Meet. So a total of seven virtual meetings will be held. Attendance will be conducted during the meetings and closes once meeting ends. So I think I have uh, emphasized on this also. So let's go to the next slide. So, okay, for here, discussion, Okay, discussion meeting schedule and tasks. So uh, we are going to fix the date and publish it on the WhatsApp uh, group. So, and every meeting is by 8 p.m. So usually is on weekends, especially Saturdays or Sundays. So when we look at the calendar, we can fix the actual date, then display it on the WhatsApp group for this course. So now we, the local site orientation is the one taking place today. So and the uh, uh, people responsible for that is the Harbour support team. So now, after this today's uh, meeting, when this course eventually starts, module one and module two presentation. Please, um, so this is I'm seeing I L P. 
Yes, this this was a listing. There are some changes that we didn't um, okay. complete. Yes, so just keep because this is a template. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. right, so, so just we are, RLP is not applicable to MIE. Yes. Uh, okay. So now for module one and module two presentation, it will be uh, the Sussex uh, team that we anchor. The presentation so they are going to have at least two persons who are going to make presentation on module one and module two hello then hello have hello, on... hello roy okay i think uh for now it suffice to let them know that uh, we haven't done this yet so we don't know um let's not just preempt who will start first with a success or team dominion just like you said, we will uh, prepare this and share with them so that we we'll know which team that will make presentation and so on and so forth. Let's just um, uh, highlight that there will be these activities at the different times. Once the course starts, we'll be able to know um, the different, after the orientation, we'll know, that's after the global orientation, they will be able to assign the modules and the different teams that will do that. All right. So now, um, I think I have already highlighted um, this before the slide came up. So now, uh, after the final uh, presentation by either of the group, so we are going to have what we call the virtual graduation ceremony. So this uh, was an innovation that we started last year. Some people here who might have to uh, monitor the um, global mental health project management, they are beneficiaries of this. And uh, when we uh, had this, University of Washington was happy to see that truly, truly, we had uh, people, we had this interaction among ourselves, people actually uh, involved. So then this visualization, uh, we equally had uh, give, give uh, University of Washington access to go to it and they were uh, applauding the work which we have done. So we are going to have a date at the end of uh, the course. We are going to have a date. We are going to have this visual graduation. Before then, we are going to give you the highlights of how it's going to be. So it's not something we are going to discuss today, but just know it that at the end of this course, we are going to have a virtual graduation ceremony. Next slide. So now the facilitator's role. First, provide support during registration of the courses. This has been done. Provide support in gaining access to course website, Canvas. This will start immediately access is being granted to participants. Then, moderate discussion during a meeting. That, uh, the facilitator is going to moderate discussion in every meeting. Then, equally have the ability to explain module content. Then remind participants of assignment timelines. Guide participants on how to escalate technical issues. So uh, for this, since we are going to uh, likely have a facilitator from the house here, so if at a point the facilitator feels uh, he or she cannot uh, handle that aspect, you call our attention. That is why we are also uh, here. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, before we go to the next slide, let me portray some uh, key points here. Like Mr. Roy had said, we intend to use participants as facilitators. <clears throat> Myself, I first of all, uh, the first time I took University of Washington um, course, was 2014 and then i was also i doubled also as a facilitator and it was great university of washington will award a certificate of appreciation which um, anyone playing this role can actually be proud of to say uh, i supported an eventual learning program and i was uh, awarded a letter of appreciation from this prestigious university. So like Mr. Roy also has said, we are here to support uh, 
anyone that will emerge as the facilitator for each of the of the uh, teams that we have. We have 42 members or participants in the course, and we have splitted the group into two subgroups, 21 apiece. And each one will produce for us two facilitators. And it's a volunteer work, it's not paid for, rather it's an opportunity for anyone playing that role to read ahead. Because for you to play the role of a facilitator, you need to stay ahead to be able to explain some of the contents, to be able to remind your co-participant that so, so and so day is a due date for this assignment. And then if there are issues about the course that you cannot handle, then uh, you refer that to us, then we'll be able to handle that. But that role is going to be played by participants. So this is just the other thing I really, I wanted to uh, add. So over to you, um, Roy. Okay, so uh, for technical issues, so if there is any difficulty, uh, the participants, any of us, uh, can call the attention of the uh, facilitators or any of the admin. Then you can equally send uh, an email to the PA for course complaints, that is to University of Washington, the technical uh, administration. So you can send uh, your complaint to them. So then we are going to have a video guide to be shared in the group that will also help you to know how you can contact uh, the PA for technical issues. Then submitting assignments with attachments, there will be a video guide also that we will share. Then uh, downloading and installing the Canvas app or mobile device. So this uh, uh, Canvas website where you can uh, have access to this course. So there is an app on the Play Store known as the Canvas app. This is an, uh, uh, an uh, Android app that will uh, help you to have access to this course material. But there is also, even if without the app, you can make use of your web browser like the Chrome browser, uh, Firefox and all the rest of them. So, but most of we recommend using the app if you can, but if you cannot, you can make use of the website. So a video guide will also be shared. Next slide, please. So awards to deserving participants. Facilitators observe and assess all participants and recommend six outstanding participants for the following award. So for the facilitators, there is a, a a task to observe and assess all participants. Then at the end, you recommend six outstanding participants for the following award. Most supporting participants from the uh, presentation team lead, we need two. Most valuable participants, that is the best contributor during meetings, just like we are having like, the best contributor, we, have, we need two of them. The most available participants, Best attendance, someone with the most uh, attendance. So you identify two of them and submit the names to us. Next slide. Okay, sorry again, let me uh, come in here. Like you can see on the screen, this is a new thing that we introduced. I think that was during the just concluded leadership and management in health. And we hope to run this also in this uh, course. So um, the facilitators that did this were have run uh, uh, team members. However, uh, we are also going to support the facilitators because this may be the first time they are playing the role of facilitators. So it's not basically that they will be the only one to observe this. And some of these things are very, very obvious. It's not something, it's very, very objective. You know, our attendance, we have the attendance sheets to speak. We have the most supporting participant. Those people who are leading in the team, we all see how they present, how they carry the rest team members along. And then the most valuable participant, the person that is contributing most, you also see that this is objective. Everybody will see it. So it's just to let you know that uh, it's not to bombard the facilitators with so many rules and, and uh, responsibilities as they are coming on board, but we are here to support you. 
So over to you, uh, Mr. Roy. I think that's the last slide. Okay, so uh, yes, Mr. Roy, thanks for uh, taking us through this. Uh, can we, you created the, 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 um, the breakout rooms, right? No, no, I didn't create. Okay, you have not. Okay. So um, someone asks, what is the procedure for the selection? What we are going to do is uh, everyone had already been uh, assigned to different um, to different um, teams. We have team success, team dominion. So are there people who do not know their groups? So let's start from there. Is there anyone here who does not know which team he or she belongs to? Anyone? Yes. Zira M. Is it? Yes. Zira, I don't know which team I belong to. Okay. Zira, yeah. Okay, so um just a, a minute. Let me. For M and E, January. Okay, Zira. Zira is in. Um, Zira, you are in Dominion. Zira, did you hear? Okay, okay. Thank you, you are in Team Team Dominion. Dominion. Okay, thank yes. you. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Any other one? Any other person, please? Yes, sir, Felicia. Felicia. Okata, yes, sir. Felicia, let's see that. Felicia Okata, you are in success. Great, thank you, sir. Yes, Good. Thank you. So you are in success. Any other person? Okay. Yes, I'm in success. Sorry. Do we have any other person who does not know his or her team? Okay, so we assume everyone on this call now knows the team he or she belongs to. Okay, so I'm trying to. Does anybody want to speak? I can't see any hand over. I'm hearing hello. Okay, I thought you were asking about someone if someone is in success group. No, 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 no. I wanted to find out if there's nobody, anybody who does not know the team he or she belongs to. Okay. Chili Major, your hand is up. You want to speak? No, I was the one that asked the question. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, the next hand is Sarah. Um, Sarah Isa. Your hand is up. Yeah, I, I don't know which um which team I am in. Okay, so um, just a minute. Um, let me check. That's Sarah, right? Sarah is in. Uh... Sarah, you are in Dominion. Okay, okay. Thank you. You are in Team Dominion. You're welcome. So please, uh, we are going to share the link. Mr. Roy, can you get that link, please? Hello, Mr. Roy. And also get the attendance ready. So um, yes, somebody sir. else, huh? So please think, are you talking of? Um, get the links for the team success and team dominion. 
Okay, okay, okay. So when you are pasting the link, paste the actual name so that uh, they won't uh, go into another room. So get for both of them. And then after that, share the attendance link. Okay. Somebody, okay, Daniel, let me let me check for Daniel. Sorry. Daniel Ishaya is in Dominion, Team Dominion. So Team Dominion, please, I mean, uh, Ishaya, please uh, help me confirm that you heard. You can send a chat. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. So um, let me find out something for the uh, breakout rooms. Please, the attendance link is on the uh, chat box now. Then, Dominion uh, Group, you can also see the attendance link, your, your own uh, uh, WhatsApp group link. Take the chat box okay. to join your, your group. Um, also, share for success. I think we have a new person also who just. Uh, uh, okay, okay, great, 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 great. Okay, so um, that is happening. That link that he shared is happening outside here. However, we have created two rooms in this meeting. And uh, Mr. Roy, maybe you handle Team Dominion, right? Okay. So go to Team, uh, to team Dominion while I go to success. So what we are going to do, is we are going to get volunteers in these respective rooms. So we are going to get the first two volunteers. Then that is that. And then we'll just discuss uh, how we we'll handle the teams. We may also go ahead and say, okay, in the first presentation, because we hold the meetings every two, two weeks, the first presentation, uh this and this and this will happen because in each of these teams we are going to have sub teams that will make presentation if today team dominion is going to make presentation team dominion is expected to get two uh other or three other as the case may be depending on the question we are responding to to make presentations so when team dominion comes to make presentation for that day we we'll, we we'll, we'll ask Team Dominion A, Team Dominion B. They will make presentation, so we can discuss that briefly. So we are going ahead now. We are expected to join uh, the groups. Please, can you see the groups? Can you see the the breakout rooms? Right. So each person should now go straight to your room, to your room based on your team, so that um, we can go ahead and finish and then come back. So please go ahead and join your group. Nobody is moving. Please click the join, click the join, and then join.
Is it that nobody nobody has seen it? Um, sorry, I can't see any breakout room. All I can see is the link for the WhatsApp group. No, no, no. Uh, there is a breakout room on the screen of your. What Check the screen, uh, the screen of the Zoom, not the chat message. It's not there. Breakout. It's, it's not there. It's not reflecting. I can see it now. It's not reflecting. I can't see it. Is there another person that can see it at all? Uh, Oluwa, you, need to, I can't see it. you can't see it. Yeah. I can't see it as well, though. Ah. I can't see anything as well. Uh -uh. I can't see it either. Okay, let me. I'm surprised. Okay, so uh, let's do something now. You, I call your name. Tell me your group, your team. Then I, I know if I, I'll see if I can add you from here. Abubakar Abba, please. Which is your team? Team success. Team success. Yeah. Okay. Can you find? Okay. I'm sure you have gone there. Arrow. Yeah. Dominion. Arrow Dominion. Abu Bakar, Barista Abu Bakar, MA. Barista Abu Bakar, MA. Uh, Chidima. Joy. Chidima Joy. Absent. Yes. Present. So. Okay. Which team? Team Success. Team Success. Chihum Nanya. I'm in Dominion. Dominion. Uh, Divine Will. Yes. Divine Will Okoro. Team yes, what? yes. I mean, team success. Team success. Um, Daniel Ishaya. Team Dominion. Dominion. Dr. Etel. How are you? Dr. Etel. Okay, success. Team success. I mean, success. success. Felicia. Team success. Success. Melia Chinda. Gislaine. Hello, Gislaine, Melia. Ijomamba. Ijomamba. Team Dominion. Dominion. Um, somebody is using iPhone, and uh, please rename your device so that we can identify you appropriately. James Shi. James Shi. Absent. Cassie David Aoma. Dominion. Dominion. Eh? Is it uh, Cassie David? Yes. Okay, Dominion. Matthew Adetolu. Matthew Adetolu. Hello, yes. Yes, beautiful, sir. Team Dominion. Dominion. Uh, Mohammed Bukar. Uh, good evening, Team Dominion. Good evening. Team Dominion. Yes. Lumfo. Hello, uh, Good evening, success. Lufo, what? Success? Success. Success. Okay. Audion. Ahime Mona. Dominion. Dominion. Adegboye. Yes, team success, sir. Success. Yes. Um, Okoye Stanley. Dominion. Dominion. Omo Tolani. 
Kajin Kule. Good evening. Same Good success. Same success. Prince Onoha. Team Dominion. Team Dominion. Sarah Isa. Team Dominion. Dominion. Scholastica Chisum David. Team Success. Team Success. Uh, Zira. Matthias Zira. Yes, uh, Dominion. 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 Okay. Um, Other people who return back, 13 and 9. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, James she is not yet here. Um, Ghislaine Melia. Let me be sure that their audios are connected. Um, the audios are connected. I don't know why they're not. Yes, they are connected, but they are not speaking. And I can't see. Uh, Felicia's name is, maybe she's having a challenge. I can't see Felicia's name under unassigned. And uh, where is she? Okay, she was assigned to Team Success, but maybe she's having a problem with her, challenge, with her network. Okay, so is James around now? James, she? Ghislaine Melia? Barista Abubakar, M.A. Yes, sir. Team Success. Okay. That's Barista, right? Team Success. Yes, sir. Okay. You're off to success. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, who is returning back? Much of the police is return back. Is it turned back? I did him so how many how many facilitators are we choosing for one or two? Uh, two facilitators. Okay. Two facilitators, yes. Each team. So let me join um, success and then facilitate. So uh, we are going to be back in. Uh, let me see. Let's do this in the next uh, seven minutes, please. Okay, so I have to join Dominion now, right? Yes, join Dominion. And let's facilitate that. Seven, five minutes, it's okay. Just select and then we are off. We are back again.
Hello. Hello. Yeah, we are returning back. So let okay. every other person return. Once okay. it closes in the next 23 seconds, then um, so Mr. Roy, are you back here now? Yes, I'm back. Okay, so that's fine. Um we have the names. So congratulations to all the four uh facilitate all the four yes and um please you are now facilitators in your respective um um groups we are going to announce this in the group for those who are not who, who are not here to be aware that these are the facilitators for each of these groups all right so um for us this is where we end our presentation so we'll just open up for the next five minutes. If we have any questions, well, let's ask, and then uh, we'll be able to respond to them. If you have a question, you can either send it as a chat or you raise your hand, and then um, we can call on you to speak. Okay, when are we starting as facilitators? Now, you have started, Mr. Abubaka. So, thank you, sir. thank you very yes. much. I yes, get you. yes, no problem. Thank okay. you. Okay, so please remember to fill the attendance forms. Please remember to fill the attendance form so that. Um, we can capture that very well for you. So the volunteers, you may not be the one to do the attendance list. We are the ones sharing. So that's another task of you. Okay, so um, it looks like we do not have any other questions. I think um, we are good to go. Thank you, everyone. This is a weekend, and we believe it's going to be a great weekend for each and every one of us. Let's rest well because the week is going to be a great week for each and every one of us. So bye bye, everyone. Thank you very much. We are very grateful. Uh, thank you. Good night.